hi guys welcome back to the video today we're going to be filming frank's first birthday party first birthday special <laughs> to the video so today I'm going to be filming a little Frank's first birthday my Newfoundland puppy's first birthday party slash birthday video we're going to be doing a few different segments the first segment that we're doing is making his birthday cake so I just went on Pinterest and I looked up some dog birthday cakes and right now I'm making one and the good thing about this one is that it's all like food that you would have around your house so I'm doing half the cake because it just seemed like a big, a lot of measurements. So I'm doing half a banana, I already put that in. I'm halving it so it's half of a carrot. So I just made these carrot ribbons. It's a quarter cup of oil, so it's going to be a half of a quarter cup. So I'm just taking a quarter cup and putting around half in. And if you know me, I just eyeball things. It's going to be one egg. going to be about a half of a cup of peanut butter. And I'm just using the KitchenAid mixer to mix it all together. And this is actually edible by humans as well. You add, and I don't have any applesauce, but I am just going to add just a little bit more of everything else to kind of make up for that. And then it says one tablespoon of honey. So I have this wildflower pure liquid honey from Prince Edward Island, which is where I'm from. So I'm just going to add like a heaping tablespoon of. Next, you have one cup of plain Greek yogurt. And I am using the President's Choice Icelandic style Greek yogurt. So I'm just gonna, there's half a cup. And, oh my gosh, Frank! Frank is here. Um, I don't know if you can see him. Frank, can you say hi to the camera? Can you see his little nose? There's Frank. Jimmy make his birthday cake. Um, okay, so. The only thing left is the flour, but I'm gonna add that in once everything is combined. Okay, so next I'm going to add in a cup of flour. And I'm just gonna eyeball this. I might add a little bit more. Okay, so now it's all mixed up. So I'm gonna put it in this pan here. And then I am going to put it in the oven. And I have my oven preset right now for 350. So this is what the dough looks like. And I really like how I did uh, ribbon carrots. So I just um, used like a carrot peeler and I peeled them and just made them into kind of like ribbons. So I'm just taking this dough for this batter and I'm plopping it. Okay, so I'm just adding it to this pan. <laughs> Don't lick your cake. Okay. Frank, you do like your cake already? Okay. So this is what the cake looks like. So we're gonna be talking about Frank. Frank, can you look at the camera? Yeah, good boy. So it is Frank's first birthday. And if you've never seen one of my videos before, I'll link below. I have two other Newfoundland dog videos or Newfoundland puppy videos. So Frank just turned one year old today and he is a Landseer Newfoundland dog. And I just thought I would talk a little bit about him. Look, can you look at mom? He is around 100, 100 pounds probably now. And he is he's gotten a lot um, bigger lately. 
and I just thought I would tell you a bit about him. So we got him last March in the middle of the pandemic in 2021. So we got Frank in March of 2021 when he was about three months old, a little, he was a little bit younger than three months. And when we got him, he was about 11 pounds. So he was quite small by Newfoundland dog standards. Obviously he's a lot bigger now. Um, so I'll insert a photo of him when he was little, when we first got him um, and we were surprised with him or at least me and my sister were. So that was kind of a fun little surprise. So when we got him, I was lucky enough or, and I'm still lucky enough that Frank, stop. That I get to work from home. So I am with him every day and we have lunch together. We go for walks um, at, on my lunch break and we get to spend a lot of time together, which is nice. So he's rarely in his kennel, but he does like to go in his kennel for naps. So he is kennel trained whenever we leave. He is in his kennel, even though he is a year old, but hopefully in the next little bit, we'll be able to transition him out of that. But we still can't 100% trust him with shoes. He's giving me the death eyes right now. We still can't 100% trust him with shoes or furniture and that kind of thing, rugs, that kind of stuff. So that's one thing um, that we're hopefully working on this year is being able to trust him with when we're not around but overall he is a really good dog he's awesome in the middle of the day he's definitely a pandemic dog where he is so well behaved when i'm on work calls he's never once barked or whined or anything in a work call which is awesome um and he normally just kind of sleeps and chills and plays with his toys by himself during the day which is great um so i'm very appreciative of that because i know some people's dogs are not as well behaved during the day when they're trying to work from home so that is one thing that i am very very grateful for overall he's very good there's one thing he does not like to get in the car he doesn't like car rides or anything like that which is a little difficult but anyway hopefully that's something that we'll be able to work on with a trainer um we are getting him a dog trainer a private trainer to come in and just help us with a few things such as number one getting into the vehicle and number two um not barking when he's outside and just like basic training so we're going to work on that a little bit in the next year or so he is a pretty good dog otherwise he does get very excited when people come over though um but he doesn't try to hurt them or anything he just gets very excited and will run to them and thinks he's like a little tiny puppy he loves to be outside and just kind of hang out in our yard um so he loves to hang out on the back deck we have like a fenced in back deck and then we are getting a fenced in backyard hopefully this spring so that's something that we're looking forward to he is pretty chill for the most part and he is also really great on walks we normally he needs two walks a day which can be a little challenging during the winter when it is snowing so much so right now while i'm filming this we're in the middle of a snowstorm <laughs> um so all of the roads are shut down and everything like that so we're trying to just play with him in the backyard and get out his energy that way but i took him for a big walk yesterday knowing that today i probably wouldn't be able to take him for a walk but yeah he's great on walks i try to take him for two to three kilometers every day so i'll do one big walk normally at lunchtime which is great for me because i get to get up and move around especially because i work from home i have like a very sedentary lifestyle that part is great that i it's kind of an excuse that i need to get out because he needs a walk and i need a walk gentle there so yeah he is overall a really great dog um and we are very proud of him he's really come around in the last i don't know i'd say a month or so to be a lot nicer um when we have people over that's kind of the only time he really misbehaves and we're kind of starting to learn some of his cues so when he's being kind of a jerk we'll put him in his kennel for a little bit and like reset him almost like a little time out and another thing that we like to do is we'll like take him for another short walk to get out any of his energy or let him outside where he can run around and play one thing that is something that you have to know when you have a newfoundland dog especially a puppy is right now he's in his shedding stage like we have to vacuum twice a day because there is so much dog fur um everywhere when we first got him it wasn't that bad but recently it's been so bad so yeah i just wanted to do like a little puppy update i don't know if i would even consider him a puppy anymore are you happy and as you can see <laughs> my yoga pants have just so much dog fur on them um with 
just Frank laying on me and drool and all that stuff, but I wouldn't change it for the world because he is such a good boy. Yeah, so that's what's new with Mr. Frank. He is a great boy. I'll be inserting some clips of some of his best little moments and I'm gonna do like a little year in review kind of thing so we can see how much he's grown um, from when he we first got him to now. The great thing about doing YouTube is that you get all of those memories captured on a good camera. So I'll insert some of my favorite clips of him and some of my favorite pictures from the past year. Can you shake a paw? Hey, shake a paw. Good boy. Other paw? Yes, good boy. High five. High five. High five. Thank you, good boy. Happy first birthday. Happy first birthday. Yeah. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No, Frank. Dear Franklin. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Here's your cake, Frank. Are you excited? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he needs, needs a little piece. Bloody. No, I can't. He's actually eating it. There's just a few. Oh my god, he ate the whole cake. Hey guys, I just wanted to end today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I didn't get the chance to end it on video, so editing me is here to end the video. Hope you enjoyed Frank's first birthday special. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!